for myself, they never circumcised me. For Africa traditional society of the Batwa and the indigenous minority, there was no circumcision. The indigenous people in Africa with an average of 1.5 meters, that is 4 feet to 11 feet, with an estimated population of 6,700 to 10,000 as of 2024. I traveled all the way to western part of Uganda in search of the shortest people in the whole world. This is the story of the Batwa community who lives in jungle and know how to enjoy themselves in this jungle to the fullest. I boarded a nine-hour journey bus from Kampala, Uganda to the western part of Uganda where the Batwa communities are located. The Batwa are the first, the oldest people to live in Africa. Oh, the oldest people to live. The all the oldest people to live in Africa. You said they migrated from DRC Congo. Uh, DRC in the Chuli Forest. Okay. Mm. So the looking forest. for the survival because the whole of this, the whole of the the country, it, the whole of Africa, it was a darker continent. Okay. So it was a bush. So the Batwa were looking for for fruits and. Uh, the okay. Although the majority of the Bato community do not own a piece of land, they face so many challenges of life. We are here in the masses of NGOs mm -hmm. and the churches, plus all wishers, and also the tourists who normally came to visit our place. They donate. The small they donate, we save uh, so that we can plan to do these things that we are so already here. When you were chased away, were you given any land by them? Nothing. The Buindi Ipanatrabal National Forest of Uganda was their home before they were evicted from it. The Bato population has a life expectancy of just 28 years and 40% of their children do not survive up to the age of 5. Honey is their most important food and product for them, in addition to herbs and wild fruits. Yes, you can eat when it is fresh or you can eat when it is cooked. Okay. So there is no problem. Uh, like when you eat or uh, when it is uh, when it is not uncooked, when it is not, when it is not cooked, it means that uh, you eat the delicious vegetable. Uh -huh. One when you eat it like this, you can uh, hire Mount Mahabula. Okay. Within uh, four hours, you have been reached at the top of the Mount Mahabula, where there is a crater lake. Wow. So and also uh, we use it to cook, uh, mixing with uh, yams. And, and uh, many, many things, food around the, inside the jungle. Okay. We are having a lot. So that's why we believe that this is really the food which you can eat. Mm. What kind of fruit is this? Babonis, banana. yellow banana. Okay. Yes. But this one is still young. We have to do come okay. with, uh, the yellow. Just like the Hazabe community in the southern part of Tanzania, the Bato community also have some similarity when it comes to the houses, what they eat and the lighting of fire method. Eat. Let me tell you, apart from the uh, the honey and hunting, they also feed on these. That's what you've told yes, me. Yes, this yes. part of this. But now, this cameraman, I hope you've seen it well. This is not well grown. This is not mature. This, this one have grown, uh -huh. but there are the young ones which normally come from the soil. Okay. Seasonally, in a year, we do it three times. Okay. But now, uh, we do it, uh, actually, we do it illegally. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, because uh, the government does not allow the government doesn't allow us so okay. that we can come and access these bamboos. Okay. But when we do, when the government can allow mm -hmm. the community, mm -hmm. actually you cannot see this one. Okay. So we are lucky that we have the government mm -hmm. which can stop people not really okay. just access the forest freely. Ah, now do you chew it as a sugar cane because it looks like a sugar cane? This one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, when they are coming down. Mm -hmm. When they are young, they can be rich like here. Okay. okay? Uh -huh. Then you you remove the you remove the oil from the soil. Like when it is yeah. still soft. When it is still oh. soft and whatever. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this also has many uses. It's been used as a cup. You yeah. cut it there and you shape it. Use it as a cup to drink mm. water, to drink brew, to drink soup from mm. the whatever you you have you've had. And also it is used as a bed. That's what you said. Yes, you and think? also building the house. Yeah, may building the house. And also used for making the bicycle. Okay. Bi bicycle? Yes. Bicycle frames. Bicycle frames. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So guys, mysterious information here in Bato Community. Ah, yeah, yes, tell us. Yeah, these are houses where the Bato used to live before the eviction. They would build this. Before the? 
before the removal from our, 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 home, our home stay. Okay. So the battle would be used these houses. You see, they are different. They are different in the, in the building. Mm -hmm. This was house for the, the boy mm -hmm. who, have, who have married mm. the wife. And that house, it was the house for the, for the, for the old mosaic. Okay. For the Eridari. Elder. Oh, that one was for the elder. Yeah, for the Eridari. Okay. Who have the who have, who have the, the wife uh -huh. and the the wife and the two children. Okay. So that big one, uh, -huh. uh you see it is a new house. Yes. Uh we have constructed it for as a place where the children would go. Okay. And also sit with their with the Eridari. Also training them mm -hmm. how they can behave. Okay. 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 And also when they bring the meat, mm -hmm. they would enter mm -hmm. in that big house. Okay. That you are seeing. Okay. So it is a place where also we are going to enter inside. Then then we will make the fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So guys, uh, we are showing you how these people make fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have a bamboo. Yes. We have bamboo. Also we have the samantosa. Samantosa. The meat, uh, meat, and so, so, so I suppose that we have a food so we can cook. Uh, so the problem is that uh, now we don't come with a uh, food uh, and also the, the meat to to put here. So you see how the baka would get the fire from the samantosa uh, uh, without uh, using the matchbox. <laughs> The Batwa now have already copied the, the music of the other, other community neighbors, but now they do have mixer. Mix. Um, yeah. So we are very privileged and also welcoming you for, to be here with us. So the Batwa here, they are very happy. Uh, they are saying that uh, really it is, okay. it's a great work that you're going to do for us okay. at the Batwa community okay. in the future. Okay. So thank wow. you very much. With that, we go to the jungle. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, this is a battle community. They were invaded from the forest in 1991. They are very loving and they are the shortest people in the world. They are called the pygmies. I'm hanging out with the pygmies and they are whole community. Men, women, everyone in this community. And I'm with my friend Denise. Ah, are you happy to be Yeah, so guys, today I'm shooting with all cameras, man. Yeah. I don't want to miss any any moment, any opportunity. You know, I want to have everything, man. It's such a great experience. Yes. Thanks, bro, for bringing us here. Yes, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony is your tour guide. Our yeah. tour guide is the one holding the camera. Yes. Yeah. So in case you're here, so you can imagine. He's if holding two cameras and yes. the one holding this yeah. other big camera. So in case yeah. you're here and you want to visit, Anton yeah. is the best tour guide, guys. Yeah. We will contact you. We'll give his contact over there. So that whenever you come here, don't look for someone else. Yes, look for Anthony. Yeah, so guys, Thank you so much. You're going to be here. And uh, living here in this area where we are, we are here in the masses of NGOs mm -hmm. and churches, plus all wishers, and also the tourists who normally came to visit our place, they donate. The smaller they donate, we save, uh, so that we can plan to do these things that which are.
So already here. when you are chased away, were you given any land by them? Nothing. When you evicted from the forest, there's no other land you are given for compensation. There was no land for compensation. There was no at any single mm -hmm. of single coin maybe to give to us mm -hmm. is that we are compensating you. And they chased us from the forest without any reason. And there was no any consultation which was made. Maybe to first ask us that we are going to remove the forest. They forced us from the forest. Now, in which lands are you living? For the well wishers and NGOs, that's the land that you're living. This is the land where we are living. Okay. And also, even though we are living in these lands of NGOs and all wishers, we don't have land rights. Because in land rights, we are supposed to have land agreements. So in the future, for me, as a Mutu at least who is educated, I, I feel bad because where we are lifting my children. Mm. Okay. Because in the future, these NGOs mm. will go, and these land is will back to the those people who sold the land to NGOs. So we request the government of our Republic of Uganda, we request uh, the international countries so that they can support us directly to the particular people not passing anywhere because we are already here to support our people and, one of the community and we are the one of the community of Uganda. Yes. We feel bad to find that the refugees are coming from other countries and are being supported by the government mm. and they are being supported by different uh, international or, or organizations. Okay. So this is really a message. Uh, whatever everyone wants to support, please come directly to the Batwa, sit with us, consult us, then we tell you what we need. And guys, you may be wondering where this guy learned English from. He, he was taken to school by, by the well-wishers. And among the community, he's the only guy who understands English because he's the only person who is learning. Other of them, they don't know how to speak in English. But for him, he's able to communicate. He, he's used as a messenger between those people, between the Bata community and the tourists. So for him, he was taken to school to learn and is a learned person. Which career did you take? I I studied computer. Computer. Yes. ICT. Yeah, yeah. You are supported by the NG. I was wishers. supported by the oral wishers, mm -hmm. and some of the tourists came and also supported me by giving me uniform, mm -hmm. tennis, books, mm -hmm. so that I can uh, mm -hmm. continue uh, studying. That mm -hmm. is why I say that uh, uh, I'm here to advocate mm -hmm. for Batwa rights mm -hmm. because myself I am a Mutwa. Okay. I feel I feel, feel pain. paining mm -hmm. to find that my my siblings, my brothers and sisters. We are living in this situation mm -hmm. because of the poor mm -hmm. planning of the government. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So guys, that is it. Someone like this Mze he doesn't have a land and he was chased away from the forest because of some due reasons. This old man here. And we are pleading with the government of Uganda. If you're seeing this, please do something about these people. Get them land. Uh, I think they are good people. Yeah. And I also love the government of Uganda. Thank you for the good thing that you're doing because I have seen that you have reserved the forest. It looks very good. And it's very clean. And even uh, the wild animals. And these people, you have kept them well. So I believe the government of Uganda, you're able to give these people land because Uganda is very big and we have some lands that are not occupied. Thank you because you have introduced them even to other life of like uh, cultivating Irish and even looking for money. Right now, they don't depend on, on the forest mills only. But it, it pains my heart. Yes, yes, being a tourist and... I hope their life will be changed and they will come to change one day. Thank you so much.